This is how to use the Adobe Customization Wizard DC on a Creative Cloud Packager deployment package single application installation of Acrobat Pro DC on Mac OS X. I've launched the Creative Cloud Packager. We are going to create a package. The name of this is Creative Cloud Packager Acrobat DC or CCP Acrobat DC. Uh, we're going to save this to the desktop. We're going to select our organization. We're going to select serial number license. We do not want the Creative Cloud Desktop application or applications and updates via the apps panel. We'll say next. We need to provide the serial number. Next. We'll select only Acrobat Pro DC. Make sure that's all I've selected. Build. And it's been successfully created. We'll close. And here is our Creative Cloud Packager customized package for only a standalone Acrobat. We need to compress that. And now we've finished compressing our package from Creative Cloud Packager. And now it's time to transport it to another machine. Okay, here we are on a, another machine. We've transported our Creative Cloud Packager standalone Acrobat installation. We have the Acrobat Pro DC continuous plist files all zipped up and we've got the Adobe Customization Wizard. Let's install the Adobe Customization Wizard first. folder there. And I'll just drag the app right into the applications folder. And make sure that launches. Close that up. And we need to eject that. And next, let's un zip the plist files and there are our plist files one for pro one for reader now let's unzip our uh, creative cloud packager installation I'll make sure we have all of these out of the way now And let's open up the Adobe Customization Wizard. Here's our app. Now, we need to do something here first. Let's navigate from our install folder to the build folder and then go to the Acrobat uh, install package. And we want to right mouse click that and then say show package contents. This takes us to the contents folder and I'm going to go with a windowed, multi-windowed view here and we're going to go from contents to resources to setup to apro15.oen underscore us then the acrobat dc folder and there's our package. <clears throat> what I'd like to do now is I want to drag that out, put that on our desktop and I want to create a new folder. And we're going to call this customized package. And I want us to select this. And I want to copy the name for this for a very good reason. Once we get to it, 
I'll show you. So we go here, we select our package that's on the desktop. Say open, and there it is. We're not providing a serial number for this because we already provided that for the Creative Cloud Packager. And we say accept user license, enable feature lockdown, and we're going to choose the plist from the folders that I set up. And we're grabbing the com.adobe.acrobat.pro plist file. This will uh, disable all web services integration and the sign-in on the right hand side of the application. And then we say OK. Now here's the part. We're going to name this uh, new package and we're going to name it exactly the same name as the default package. We need to navigate to our customized package folder that we created and we're going to save it there. Success. Output package has been created successfully. I'll click OK. And that's where the log file is created, just in case we want to uh, have a look if there were errors or stuff. And say OK there. And now we have our customized package as our plist file embedded in it. Okay, so what we do now is we grab this customized installer and we put it right back to where the original installer was. We close that window, close the applications window there, close that window, and then we go back into our Creative Cloud app. So there it is, CCP Acrobat DC underscore install package. <clears throat> so we're going to launch this now and install the application. So say continue there, continue, install, give it our administrative password. Installation was successful. Close. And now we need to check see if the application starts with the customizations. Let's launch Adobe Acrobat. Okay. We have one prompt that says Acrobat is not currently configured to be the default application for PDF files. Would you like to make PDF files open with Adobe Acrobat instead of Preview? We'll say yes. Okay, you'll notice we launched. We were not asked to sign in. We do not have the sign in button in the upper right hand corner. We do not have the storage for the document cloud or the creative cloud. We also don't have the mobile link button down here. So we have all of our customizations and we can shut that down. And that completes this video. Thanks.